opportunity to speak to you today. For the past five years, I have documented aircraft emitting trails across the sky. I have taken hundreds of videos and thousands of photographs of these persisting emissions. Many of the aircraft I have witnessed appear to be spraying something into the atmosphere. Uneasy with my observations, I wanted to know exactly what was causing the aircraft to leave, leave visible trails that did not dissipate. I reached out to local, state, and federal government agencies for information and assistance. What I experienced was disillusioning, to say the least. When I called the EPA, I was told that the FAA handled aircraft emissions. When I called the FAA, they called, told me to call the EPA. I was shuttled from office to office with no agency ever accepting responsibility or accountability. My calls were not returned, nor were my concerns ever addressed. The sage advice I finally received from, an EPA, from the EPA was to hire a plane and do my own testing. This was especially disheartening since I had been led to believe that the Environmental Protection Agency was the ultimate protector of the environment. Additionally, the EPA advised me to contact the Department of Environmental Quality for the state of Virginia. Not surprisingly, the DEQ informed me that they do not regulate mobile sources of emissions, don't go to airports, and don't check what is being loaded on planes. As for my request for my yard to be tested for heavy metal, chemical, or biological contamination, I was told that the Virginia DEQ... Okay, so... I wanted to give you a little report today. Today, it, it went from extremely warm to overcast, uh, within probably an hour. So at least, well, around an hour. But well, basically, it was the kind of weather you wouldn't want to be outside in. Basically, it was one of those kinds of scenarios where you're basically wanting to have your sunglasses on to within an hour or so. And it looks like it's raining over there. Within an hour or so, we have this overcast. And there was a little bit of sort of weather anomalies going on. For instance, we'd have <clears throat> the lower clouds uh, the lower clouds were moving and, and the upper clouds were staying still. So, yeah, that's uh, my little weather report for today. So, this is all about the weather whiplash from the geoengineering, basically. Extreme temperatures. It's all about weather engineering and the extreme temperature fluctuations. And this is what I saw today, like I said. It was the kind of weather where you would want to have sunglasses on if you're out in the, in the outdoors. And then we, we, we have this. Now this is... It looks like it's actually about to burn off over here. And Yeah, we've got we've got extreme temperature fluctuations happening and the media doesn't say anything about it. 